trailing with foam. Uh, did you add water? Did you add air? No, that's, that's absurd, right? So let's think about this. Um, foam drilling, water is very important aspect of making sure that we have a good foam mixture. If you think about it, we start with a half a percent or 1% foam. So that means 99.5% of the entire contents of our foam mixture was water. So we have to pre-treat. You know, if you talk to any of your manufacturers, my buddies at Bayroid, they're going to say, did you pre-treat? Did you knock that hardness down to less than 100 parts per million? With that, we increase the pH, and then we get a good foam mixture. The next thing is, is uh, injection rate. What, what injection rate to the relation of the foam that we're putting down whole do we have? Do we have enough to make a shaving cream-like consistency? And then third, air, right? So it's very simple. If I'm going to make bubbles with my children, you know, I need soap that's been turned into a water soap combination and I have air and then I start making bubbles. But we're making complex tight bubble structures. So my air phase, one of the biggest issues we have is we, we can't shut in our air enough because you start looking at, I need 100 CFMs. You know, there's places where you only need 25 CFMs to be able to make a good foam consistency and then get it to come up whole. An X variable that happens way too often is we either use a foam that's actually not a foam for the drilling industry. It's not NSF certified. It's not designed for making a tight bubble structure or we're in a heavy mud rotary area with a high water table and we call up and we go, I need some foam or I have foam in the shop and it's past its shelf life. And then we just don't, we don't get the bubble consistency that we're looking for. So for me, you know, I'm looking at my makeup water. I'm looking at how I'm mixing my foam, my injection rate, and then I'm looking at my air and then I'm looking at the quality of the product. And if we're for some reason in a, you know, a water area that's high water table with, you know, high TDS, you know, 2000 plus, is that affecting my foam structure and the water that I'm creating down hole and it's breaking my bubble structure? And I have to consider going to a stiff foam or a gel foam and augmenting it. If I'm having trouble making foam, I call my manufacturer. They have a mud engineer that's going to come out on site and you guys are gonna have a bubble party and it's a lot of fun. So just get those guys out there and have them help you.